And tonight I'm going to teach you guys how to steam broccoli. I'm going to use a plain old bamboo steamer. It has two layers and a lid, okay? My water is just heating as you can see that steam going. Now I have seasoned my water with salt, a nice handful of salt, about 10 or 12 peppercorns, two piri piri chilies. Where did I put my chilies? Hold on. Okay, so I've used these epicurial piri piris. They're also called African bird's eye chilies and these are super duper hot. They're really, really tiny but they're really flavorful. Now, your food that you're putting in your steamer um, isn't actually going to be touching the water, right? It's just gonna be steamed with it, so you can be generous with your seasonings. I also put a half a lemon in wedges and squeezed it in there, and I have a bay leaf in there. All right, and about 12 peppercorns, I said that though. Okay, so I am going to be steaming broccoli. I also have a layer of asparagus, asparagus going in this evening, but that's another video, so you can check that out pretty much the same premise and about the same timing as well. Anyhow, here's my stock of broccoli. This will be enough for, you know, two or three of us this evening as a side dish. And I'm just going to peel the stock. Now, if this, you know, if you're cool with the skin on the outside of the stock, then keep it. But we peel it just because it's, it can be a little bit tough, right? Now, we do keep the stock. We will, we will also steam this stock because it's some of the tastiest part of the broccoli. If you didn't know that, you don't have to just eat the trees. You can eat the rest, too. It's nice. Anyhow, I'm going to, to remove the heads of the trees from the stock. And I'm just going to slice the stock in half. Nice bite-sized chunks, let's say. Okay, so now I have nice four nice pieces of that stock ready to go. Now I'm just gonna break this this broccoli apart. They come together and they branch apart like a tree, okay? So you're just gonna take it and you're gonna cut between the natural grooves of where they separate, okay? In nice bite-sized chunks, okay? You don't want huge pieces of broccoli and you don't want little tiny ones either. You wanna have a nice chunk. So if you have to grab a couple at a time to keep a nice head of broccoli, then that's what you do, okay? Just eyeball it but keeps the stock, a little bit of that tree stock intact, okay? All right, so that's it. Now, my water should be about ready. We're boiling, we're doing well. So I, I started that off, I'm turning it down just so that it simmers. It's about on a medium, medium roll, okay? Here we go, we're gonna put layer these broccoli on my bottom steam layer, okay? So we're just going to spread them evenly over top of that. That's why you want to have nice sized pieces because they'll fall through those grates if you have wider grates. Now, my head of broccoli fits perfectly in one layer. This is super healthy because you're not saturating in all kinds of oil, etc. Now, after I will probably put a little bit of butter on, but we don't have to talk about that right now, right? All right, so on with the top or layer your other vegetables. And we're going to probably steam that for about, I don't know, mom, eight to 10 minutes. Probably. So we'll check back in about five and we're gonna do the poke test with your sharp knife or a fork to just make sure it's fork tender. That's really all there is to it, okay? This is a super easy and super healthy way to cook. Low in calorie, etc., etc., and you're keeping a lot of the great things that are in those veggies instead of boiling them all out into the water and then you dump the water. You're keeping all the nutrients inside the veggies. You're getting way more healthy things into your body. All right. We will be right All back. right, my vegetables are done. They're done at the same time, it's fantastic. I'm turning off my steamer, and I'm going to move it over to here. Okay, be very careful you don't burn yourself with liquid that's dropping from the bottom. So check this out, right? Okay, here's my broccoli, and here's my asparagus. All right, so I'm gonna switch sides. <laughs> All right, my broccoli is going into a bowl. I can finish seasoning. And my asparagus is going onto this plate. Lovely. Okay, next things next. Needs a little bit of butter, both of them, in my opinion. Put the butter. We'll toss those around in a minute. Just let that melt on there while we're getting ready. Pats here and there. Ready? We're going to use some nice salt, that salt from the um, from Drogaria. These are Drogaria spice grinders. 
They have really great salts and peppers, all kinds of them from all over the world. I'm just going to sprinkle that on both the tops. Nothing like freshly ground spices. Now, I'm gonna use a really cool pepper today. This is a Cambodian pepper called Kampot pepper. And these are the white peppercorns. Now they have the black, they have red, they have green, and they have white. So I'm gonna use the white ones today. Why not? I just felt like it. So I'm gonna use, you know, I don't know, that looks like about a half a teaspoon or so. That's probably about 20 peppercorns. And I'm just gonna grind them up. If you don't use it all, you don't use it all. Use it for your eggs in the morning or something. All right, cracking that up. This has a little bit more delicate um, flavor than the than the black peppercorns, right? Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle this on the top. Gorgeous. Now I didn't grind it up all the way. I left it just a little bit chunky, just for a little bit of fun. Cool, and just move those around as well. Gorgeous. Now. That's how you bam that's how you use a bamboo steamer to steam broccoli and asparagus. Right? That's it, that's all. I hope you try this out. This is gonna be delicious. Let's check it out. Mmm. Mom. Mmm. The broccoli's great. Let's try a piece of asparagus. Mmm. That's what's going down. Mmm. Our main part of our dish tonight. I'm doing these peppercorn steak rubbed hamburgers. So it's kind of like a steak and we use the beef, but we're making it kind of more like a steak and we're not using the buns. So it's like, this is a great lower calorie dish, except for the butter, you know what I mean? A little bit of butter, it just makes everything taste better. Why not, right? Anyway, I hope you try this out. This is a really easy, you know, easy way to do this. And it's really, really more healthy for you, okay? You can do this, it's all right. Put some nice salt, some peppers on, Put in some nice seasoning. It doesn't have to be bland. Like people are like, Ooh, steamed vegetables. It doesn't have to be bland. It can be beautiful. All right, everybody. You can also experiment with your liquid. You can use different stocks, or you can use even alcohol. You can use wines, and and that would impart lots of nice flavor that would steam up in there, right? Anyhow, that's it. That's all. I hope that helped you. That's how you make steamed broccoli, and how you make steamed asparagus. All right, everybody. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebookcom slash Cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on youtubecom slash Cooking with Kimberly and ifood.tv slash Cooking with Kimberly. And my site is Cooking with Kimberly.com. That's it. That's all. Be champions in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.